Wondering what the best skills and perks are for you to use levels 1 through 20? Well, in today's new beginner series video, we're going to go over that right now, as well as touch base on some of the weapons we chose to get us there. Let's get into it, my friends. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go ahead now and talk about the importance of choosing the correct skills in your progression. Now, depending where you want to end up at your end game, we'll refer to the end skills as our end game, is going to greatly be affected by your choices that you place to get there. You can see each tier requires a certain amount to unlock it. If we wanted to get into the who's deer, you can see we need to spend nine skill points to unlock from this point after placing these. So you really got to be certain you make the right choices. It gets very costly to reset your skills. The more you have placed, the more this number goes up. I have more currently in my ambusher than I do in my stalker. And we're going to talk a little bit about that right now and the reason for that. So the first thing I did was come to my stalker tree or my ambusher tree. Okay, get it straight, beard. I came to the ambusher tree. I dumped one into scent tinkerer and I put all the rest into my spotting knowledge until I unlocked tier two. Once we got into tier two, we went straight for sight spotting. I find that this is to call it a quality of life a skill is really not accurate. I feel this is a must have. When you were aiming down that scope, this is the tool that allows you to highlight those animals so that you can check to make sure you're on the right animal because you don't want to shoot the wrong one, if you know what I'm saying. So very important. So we started with Scent Tinkerer. We dumped a few in here. We got the tier two, bam, that was that. Once we have got what you see right here, I have left my, my, my ambusher tree and left to the stalker tree. We put one in the locate tracks to get into the track knowledge. And then we pumped these full. This is one through 20. Past level 20, we want to focus more on our stalker tree because we need to get to soft feet. This is going to make a massive difference on your hunt. My friends, I'm serious when I say a massive difference to your hunt. Your sound will be reduced by volumes. You'll be able to get closer to the animals. So that is what you want to shoot for after level 20. I will do another video talking about skills and perks from level 20, maybe to level 30, possibly to level 40. But it's very important what you choose. As you can see, some are worth a whole lot more than others to you, the hunter. So that's our skills in a nutshell, one to 20, short, sweet, to the point. Let's take a look at our perks, equally as important. Uh, and honestly, I'm, I'm, I preach this in my streams. And if you haven't come join us, twitch.tv forward slash Jaxie Beard, shameless plug, I, I, I apologize. That, that pretty much ends interrupted things okay you have to start with your muscle memory and muscle memory is fantastic and we will eventually have two of two in this one as you can see it, it just makes your follow-up shots that much quicker uh, and the speed in which you can do so so you definitely want to get that i'm not quite there yet we hit this one first we went to our breath control okay we we basically wanted to push to get all the way to zeroing this is key zeroing in my opinion is probably the best perk in game it helps you be more consistent now it's undergone a few changes over time currently right now at the time of this recording december 2020 you, your zeroing's got to be set within 50 meters or so for it to be consistently accurate so if you're at 150 and your animal's at 200 you want to be at the 150. If your animal's at 225, 300 or 150 is going to do the trick. But without this, with the starting web or with the starting scope, you're zeroed for 150 on that that 243. I'm using the 243 as an example. Without adding this, you have to learn your lift and using your milli dots. So entirely up to you. But this is, in my opinion, a must have once you have your zeroing you can then fill up your breath control and fill up your steady hands 
I, for one, like to alternate between the two. You will see a massive difference in that death wobble when you're aiming and you're all over the place. Right here is your best tools to fix this early game. So focus on, in my opinion, on the rifles. Okay, after the rifles, there is a few more that we can start to load up. The sprint and load, extremely important for on the run, trying to reloading, saves you a lot of time, major quality of life right there. Uh, and there's all kinds that we'll get into at a later date. And it, a lot of it depends on how you wanna hunt. That's the gist of it, my friends. We've covered our skills, we've covered our perks, and that's what you need to keep in mind when you advance. Now, quickly before we go, I wanna talk real quick about what we have picked up along the way to make this happen. All right, let's go ahead and we'll jump into our uh, into our storage and take a look at the weapons that we currently have unlocked. Money is a thing, and I've been blowing it left and right. I mean, oh my goodness, I have bought so many tents and so many stands, and I've changed the time so much. You don't need to go to that extent. I'm doing a stream, I'm trying to do it to show you a lot of the areas, so I spend this money, it is what it is. But if you're focusing on the weapons as you should be, you start with your 243. The 270 was, uh, where's my 270? Stradivarius is a weapon that was won through a community event and you have that, but you may not have the rifle score right away, but you can certainly get into that early. The biggest question I get asked is, Beard, what weapon should I buy after the 243? I highly recommend if you're playing off the base game without DLCs, that you go directly into the seven millimeter. The seven mm Oh, this gun is amazing. It, it's only a single shot. Keep that in mind. There's other options later on down the road, like the 300. But the 7mm has so much versatility. You can take such a wide range of animals that it's pretty hard to overlook. So get yourself into the 7mm as soon as you possibly can. Now, complete disclaimer here. I'm kind of jumping ahead and you haven't seen it yet, but we did a restart on our restart and we worked our way back from zero all the way up to about 15, 16 to try it with the DLCs to see if it was that much faster. So spoiler, there's a video coming out covering this. But in a nutshell, I'll tell you this, my friends, the DLCs do in fact speed it up. So in this build, I have not bought the 7mm because we have the M1. If you have the DLC, this weapon right here does pretty much the same job as the 7mm. You get it for free in the DLC. Keep that in mind. So essentially we're looking for the 243 directly into the 7mm if you're on the base game. If you are working your DLCs, get to that M1 as soon as you possibly can. It will open up your world in this hunting game like there is no other. Now on top of that, something we've been doing, especially with the new meta, and it really is seeming to be the new meta, uh, we've been picking up the bows. So getting yourself into, I prefer, uh, in all honesty, the crossbow is fantastic. That's a DLC, you get it for free. This is a DLC, the Coder Orpheus. That's a great option for a bow. Silent and violent and all of that little, little laid hunting pressure for lack of a better term. It lays down such a small amount that it really makes it quite feasible to, to take quite a few animals in the same area. A little longer to get on the kills than a rifle because of the range, but very satisfying. I recommend pushing the rifles until you have the rifle score to take whichever route you wanna go, whether that be the seven millimeter or unlocking the 30 odd six ammo for the M1. Try to keep this one short and sweet and to the point. Uh, that's the gist of it, my friends. Take from it as you will. Come and join us at twitch.tv forward slash Jacksonbeard if you want to get involved. And it's where we record all of this live, my friends. It's a freaking party over there. I don't know what to tell you. Of course, come and join the Discord. There is a link in the description down below. Make sure you've done me a favor. You have hit that subscribe button. You tagged the little like beside it and hit the bell and you did it with two hands you don't gotta but i'd very much appreciate it thank you all so very much for joining me and we will catch you all very very soon uh happy holidays my friends catch you next time yes sir